What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am sharing the worst fashion trends for 2021. So little disclaimer, I know this is always based on personal opinion and personal style preference. Um, so take this lightheartedly. This is just for fun. Um, personal style is just that, it's personal. But these videos are still really fun to watch, really fun to make. I know you guys really enjoy my trends videos and you guys know how I feel about trends. I'm pretty much like anti-trend type of person. I still love incorporating like trends here and there throughout the year of things that I personally just love and see myself wearing for years. Um, but it's also really fun to point out and talk about the trends that are just awful. So um, with that being said, if you're new, subscribe for more weekly videos and let's go ahead and dive right in. So with the first one being is something that I love so much, um, but just the way it's done now as like a trendy piece for this year just looks awful in my opinion. It is oversized shoulder pads on boyfriend jackets. You guys know I love boyfriend style jackets so much. Most, all of my blazers, I think, yeah, except for one, are a boyfriend style fit. But for this specific trend is making the shoulder pads super oversized. And it looks like you're wearing like your dad's suit <laughs> honestly i just don't think that looks good i love the style of boyfriend style blazers i have one right here this one right here so this is a boyfriend style fit blazer that i have but the shoulders they fit me perfectly so it fits very well on the shoulders but you know where it's oversized is right here so it's a little bit wider that's kind of the boyfriend style fit um but the oversized shoulder pads is just not my thing and personally i just don't think it's wearable as well i think it really looks funny and then the second one is super duper trendy among bloggers and influencers and i just don't understand why um you will never ever ever see me wear these but they are golden goose sneakers first they are hideous they're shoes that are meant to look dirty so you're paying over five hundred dollars yes five hundred dollars that makes me cry for a pair of shoes that come dirty to you you know it's probably because of branding and things like that but i just i cannot it does not make me feel good to purchase a pair of dirty shoes for five hundred dollars and then not even that but recommend it to you guys like these are great uh, i just can never see myself doing that because 500 dollars to majority people is not affordable it's not affordable to me let me tell you i'm not going to spend 500 dollars on a pair of dirty shoes In my opinion buy shoes that are clean i think that looks so much better that will never go out of style either clean shoes will never go out of style and the next trend is fringing on bags so i'm talking about like the really Really excessive fringing man and guys I mean like something I've noticed is when something is trending it's like so something that's just like overdone like so much like the shoulder pads on a boyfriend style fit blazer I feel like a traditional boyfriend style fit blazer looks great but then they just overdid it with the shoulder pads and then now with his handbags and the fringing it's not like a little bit of fringing it's like an excessive amount of fringing i feel like the fringes those excessive really long fringes are going to be really annoying when you're wearing that bag it's going to be constantly just like flapping and hitting you so not very practical i don't think it looks cute um i like to stick to very classy simple bags uh, that are easy to wear and easy to style and again i guess the fringing is also just not my style i guess that's kind of like a more boho style but but the way it's done for this year, 2021, it's like really long. It's like super excessive, which is definitely not my thing. And then the next fashion trend that I do not like for this year, and I think this was already getting popular last year, uh, but it is wide leg pants. So the one thing I don't like, so it's fine if you want to go for a trend and you see it, you love it, and you want to wear it, then go for it by all means. You know, personal style is just that, personal. A lot of times people are saying that like you need to have this, like this is what's in style. Skinny jeans are out and wide legs are in. You're crazy if you're still wearing skinny jeans. And I don't like that. Like, I feel like people should just wear whatever the heck they want, whether it's a trend or not. Um, and that's just how I feel about it. And people are really trying to be pushy about wide leg jeans. 
I hate them. I don't want to wear them. I'm heavy up here and my legs, they're not slim. And then that's adding more bulk to my bottom area. So overall, proportionately, it's just not going to look good for my frame. The closest I will get is like a slim straight leg jean, like a straight leg jean that's a little bit on the slimmer side, which I own a couple pairs, but not wide leg where it's just like straight down. Okay, so the next worst fashion trend for this year is sheer clothing. So I actually have a good and a bad example for you guys. So what's really trending right now with sheer clothing is like it's like totally sheer like you're wearing a totally sheer top you see your bra it's like totally visible um that is not one appropriate in my opinion i just don't think it looks good i think it looks very tacky it looks very cheap but there are ways that sheer clothing is done well and it looks pretty so i'll show an example right here there you could tell on this dress that there is a slip underneath it and then you have the sheer piece on top and then the only part where it's actually like sheer is her sleeves which i think it's fine i think in this case it looks good um but in other ways it's done like this i don't think that looks good at all that's just my opinion on it i don't like it i think there are better ways to wear sheer clothing though okay another awful trend that i just can't get behind are bra tops so Tops that are a bra, essentially, the name, bra tops. It's like with the sheer clothing, the one that I shared is, it's not appropriate. I just don't think it's very wearable. I think it's very revealing in in my opinion. It's just it's just not appropriate. I don't know, that's just my opinion on it. It looks pretty, like the bra top looks really gorgeous. However, it's just not appropriate to wear a bra just walking around out and about that's just my opinion on it let me know what you guys think i stand by it uh because it's just not appropriate and it it doesn't look good then the next trend is glitter so i feel like glitter is more popular obviously during the holiday seasons but i think people are trying to make it popular for like all year round i never liked it i think it looks really cheap and really tacky and then it glitter always just kind of falls off and just goes everywhere um if you want to wear something shimmery and shiny i feel like there's other ways you can do it or other pieces that you can get in a different type of like texture material glitter specifically i feel like that would be so messy final worst fashion trend for 2021 this was also trending last year but it is biker shorts it's become very popular to wear biker shorts just out and about i think biker shorts should be used for a few things um exercising lounging at home going biking yeah there you go biker shorts going for biking i just don't think they're very appropriate for everyday wear um i feel like regular pants look amazing are a better option in my opinion so that's my opinion on it uh i know it's great for like lounging in at home and i could totally see it for that reason just like wearing something a little bit tighter an oversized sweater and just you know lounging in at home and that's probably super comfortable but wearing it out i just i, I don't really I don't like. Okay, so we made it to the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed hearing my opinion on the nine worst fashion trends for 2021. Let me know if I missed any trends um, or if you guys think any trends are just absolutely terrible uh, in the comment section down below. I love hearing what you guys think as well. Even if you disagree with some of these things, that's okay. Like I mentioned, personal style is just that. It's personal. So, you know, wear what makes you feel your best. So anyways, subscribe if you're new and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!